Hello. Right, let's do um, a 2D spline shape into a 3D object. How about that? Can't be that hard, can it? Uh, here we go. So, we are, well, we're not yet, but we are in a sort of, we're going to be in a minute, so we're in perspective view. We really want to do it in a 2D orthographic view, because we're going to do a 2D shape. We don't want it to be changing, changing its height, because um, that will make an extrusion really, really not good. So let's do that. So let's go top view, which is T for me, because um, I'm using Studio Max shortcuts, so that'll be okay. And then we are going to then go and create. So in the create panel here, boing, we're going to use, well, we can use any one of those. So let's just pick one. Let's do a curve. And there's my curve. We could do a path, actually. Let's hit delete on that. Let's do a path, just to be different. There we go and then we go into edit mode with the tab key and we can select a point like this guy here and just move it down and move it across here and we can move this guy here down as well just going to make it a really simple shape just to show you how to do this um, I want to extend this so E to extend and then E to extend again uh, and then hang on there we go let's move it across then E to extend again, we'll go down there. I need to extend again. Hello? It's sort of going err on me. Why are we going err? Why are we down there? Weird thing. And we'll go over there. Okay, and then E to extend up here somewhere. Okay, and then what we're going to do now is we're just going to box select these two points here and go curve and we're going to go make segment which is control F alright so that's all cool and then what we're going to do on top of this is add another thing so we're going to add a NURBS path again going to move this down and we're going to go and grab this guy here move him in grab this guy move him in as well grab that one move that in and down so all I want to do is make a object that um, we'll press E to extend it. Uh, e to extend it. Hello. Uh, e to extend it again. Okay. And again, selecting these two points, I'm going to go to curve and make segment. Right. And then I'm going to press the tab key to get out of this. So we're out of sub object mode. And what we've got now is a spline shape with a hole in the middle yeah so you can go and make whatever shape you want so we're not all I'm trying to show you here is how to turn this from a spline shape into a 2d extruded into 3d shape um, so okay so let's uh, one will go top view again for a minute and we're just gonna go and duplicate it so if we go under tools we can hit duplicate and we can put it over here out of the way so we've got a version that's still a spline shape and this version, we will just zoom a Rooney in. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go to Object, uh, Convert to from Mesh, sorry Mesh from uh, Curve or Meta Subsurf blah 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 Alt C basically. So Control Alt C, boom, we're done. Doesn't look like anything's happened, but if we go to Sub Object Mode and we now can select point mode you can see we've just got a whole load of points all I'm going to do now is box select all these points and then under mesh and faces I'm going to press alt F which is fill boom and now we have let me just get out of tab mode we have a um, polygon shape apart from if we go into tab mode it's got lots and lots and lots and lots of things we really don't want lots of triangles so let's clean that up so in in top view bang we're in top view again um, I'm just going to swap it over to being in wireframe mode it's just easier to select so let's just do that and we are just going to go and select um, edges so we're now in edge select mode I'm just going to go and box select a load of edges like these guys here then we're going to hit uh, the delete key and we are going to dissolve edges 
and that gets rid of them. So again, box select, hit the delete key, and then choose dissolve edges, box select, delete key, dissolve edges. Uh, should be able to get them, yeah. Delete key, dissolve edges, invalid boundary. Oh, cool. All right, let's just see what we can do then. Dissolve edges. It's going to complain at some point, I'd imagine, but not yet. Oh, well, it did a minute ago, but hey ho. So again, down here, down to there. Dissolve edges. That guy. Dissolve edges. This guy. Dissolve edges. Because what you want to be able to do is just um, bevel in some of this stuff. So can we grab all them? Dissolve edges. Ah, it doesn't like doing all of them. Okay, so let's see what we can do. Let's grab that then. Dissolve edges. Hmm, okay. Doesn't like one of these dissolve edges. Do, 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 do. Alright, which is the one doesn't it like? One of these. Alright, don't like that one. Alright, we're gonna keep two then, for some reason. And boom. Go back out here. Looks like we haven't got anything, but if we go back to solid, we actually do have this. So uh okay, so what can we do next? Well, we could put a modifier on, can't we? We could go and add a solidify modifier. How about that? And make the thickness a little bit thicker. There we go. And that basically is our... How do you do a shape? How cool is that? Woo! Excellent stuff. There we go. So that's how you can make a 2D spline shape into a 3D object and that I think will conclude that as a bit of a simple job um, my previous version didn't have any of that boundary thing so it might be the number of points you've currently got uh, be an issue because um, it didn't like Blender a while ago not sure which version didn't want to do um, N-Gons so these, this is now N-Gons so there might be a limit on the amount of points in it uh, for a supported polygon that is n-gons. Um, if I turn that off, then we can go to tab key, and uh, yeah, there you go. And we can go into point mode. So there are quite a few points around here. So maybe we can get rid of some points. I don't know. Points make prizes. Um, ah, yeah. Okay. So maybe I don't know. Don't know, what do you reckon? Anyway, doesn't really matter, does it? So, um, we'll get out of that and we'll turn that guy back on again. Uh, solidify, there we go. Let's turn that up. And that is basically that, yeah? Okay, we're done. That'll do for today. Um, see you in a bit. Cheers. Boom.